I want y'all to pick something. Hold on. Pick the ones with the red tags. Look for the red tags, guys. Red tags. Because they on sale. Pick the red tags. You are so cheap. Get the red tags. Look at that. Look. Those are red tags. I like this. Those ain't red tags, buddy. The question on the table is Pop's a deadbeat dad for only allowing his kids to get shoes that are on clearance, guys. A lot of people in the comments section are saying he's a cheap one, he's a deadbeat. Even his own daughter says, Dad, you're oh, oh, so cheap. And let's really break it down like this, guys. Would you buy your kids expensive sneakers? Let's be real, guys. These kids are probably under the age of 10 years old. Yeah, they're forming some core memories right now, but let's be honest, in the grand scheme of life, them having these really expensive Jordans at the age of eight probably won't change your life too much as one side of the argument the other side of the coin is okay you know what dad might be a sneakerhead dad might have a whole sneaker room in his house and these kids aren't able to get the same sneakers that their dad has it's a very nuanced complicated situation so that's why i ask you today sneakerheads would you buy your kids expensive sneakers all right so i'm going to break down both lenses of the argument and let's just see what conclusion we could possibly come to and there's one hand right where i could argue side a the side of kids should have to earn their way to get expensive things this is a side that i can really adopt you know what I'm saying? Because I came from the struggle. You know what I mean? Single mother, had to hustle, wash to work two jobs. You know what I mean? I didn't get in the sneakers till I got much older. Most of my sneakers growing up were Converse's and Vans. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember going to school with bleached Converse's, dog. Yes, I have bleach stains in my Converse. They are white with a little bit of strawberry pink at the bottom because I bleached my shoes one time. And guess what? Those are the only things we could afford, so I had to wear them every day. Did I get bullied? Yeah. Did I build character? Yeah. All these things. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying bullying is good, but... That is usually the number one defense to buying kids expensive sneakers. Oh, they're going to get bullied when they go to school, blase, blase. It's all a mentality at the end of the day. It's the capitalistic mentality that says if you don't own a certain pair of sneakers or you don't own a certain clothing brand, you're not up to our level, bro. That's the whole point of school uniform, dog. That's why kids have to look a certain way when they go to school so that way everyone's on the socioeconomic standpoint, all right? Now, I get sneakers aren't really a part of a dress code, and that's usually how people show off their money value and whatnot, but there are plenty of great sneakers in this video that are a decent price that were on red tag like the nmds you got new balances puma's doing great things it's just that you won't get jordans on clearance guys and jordans just give you that a plus stamp of approval you know what i'm saying but there are a lot of b plus sneakers in there that they could have been rocking for sure so i could get where dude's coming from like get the shoes that are on clearance you know what i'm saying get the ones that are on clearance he's trying to teach his kids money values hustle values you know what i'm saying like this is how you buy and spend you know this is how you operate in this economy you ever heard of rich dad poor dad this is a rich dad maneuver right here he's trying to show these kids that like sneakers can be an investment but you have to have money to make the investment so i'm not going to teach you how to finesse and get all these sneakers with my money when you haven't worked for it they're too young to understand that and the other side of the argument is this too like they're so young that they're going to outgrow these sneakers. So what? You expect me to buy a child some grade school Jordan 4s that by the time they get to the 8th grade, they're not going to be able to fit in? And like, yeah, you could argue, hand me down this, hand me down that. But what if that's the youngest child, dog? Like, I'm not going to keep doing this. And with the oldest, if you set the precedent, hey, you're going to get expensive sneakers, guess what happens when you have a dark kid? It's going to be a continuous rinse, lather, repeat cycle of buying expensive shoes. So I don't really feel like dude's in a deadbeat dad position, right? He's really not doing deadbeat dad maneuvers because he's there and a lot of people will buy their kids stuff and not have the actual presence the actual lessons that come with being a father like by him creating a barrier to the access of the sneakers he's teaching his kids like hey you know what this is how we do things in this family guys this is how we're gonna do things if you want something you gotta earn it if you don't have the money you gotta find out other ways to do that that is more of a life lesson and a more of a fatherhood lesson than buying kids a bunch of expensive sneakers because let's be real we all know that one guy who's on instagram tiktok or whatever and they're always bragging about oh i got my baby this i got my baby that you buy your child things but do you actually provide lessons of fatherhood to your child i think that's a different debate for a different day all right so you could clearly see that this man's trying to instill some type of values in this child and that's what fatherhood is all about at the end of the day now there's the other side of the argument that 
okay, these kids should have expensive sneakers because if they go to school, they're going to get bullied, ridiculed, they're not going to have a latest trip, you know what I'm saying? Dad, you got the money. Dad, you got the sneakers. Why don't you provide the kids with the same amount of stuff? And I can understand that to a degree because, like, it would be hard for me, right, being the man that I am, being the sneakerhead that I am, having the Jordans and Nikes, the Yeezys and all that. And for my kids to go around wearing Skechers and stuff, like, if they want the Skechers, that's one thing. But, like, for me to be like, hey, you're only going to get shoes out on clearance and I'm wearing, like, a thousand dollars shoes it's like okay i mean yeah you can still argue that hey you gotta get it from the mud type mentality but you know i could also see like hey you want your kids to have a uniform look we all gonna wear the same jordans you know we're family we got that family image like it looks nice too but to me personally at the end of the day it's all about the lessons you instill in your children that's what stops you from being a deadbeat so this guy right here he's really just trying to instill lessons and to the people that go out there buying the kids expensive sneakers that's dope that's cool but you gotta think about what's really gonna happen in the long run because sneakers can be an investment but only in adult pairs in my opinion we all know the grade school the younger school sizes those tend to not sell well they don't have too much resale value because you're not gonna be able to wear those for the rest of your life unless you're a woman with like size four feet or you're a dude with size four feet i guess that's the thing right but at the end of the day but the real principal issue here is just like how do we spend our money and how do we show our value in sneakers guys because you know what there are plenty of adults who buy sneakers off clearance there are plenty of adults who are not sneakerheads and just wear whatever to work they wear nike air monarchs to work just because hey that's what pays the bills this is what i have to do this is what's uniform for me there are plenty of y'all who buy reps just because you don't want to pay to resell and everything and that's okay dog at the end of the day your money speaks volumes to your values guys i'm gonna repeat that again your money speaks volumes to your values so how you spend your money is indicative of how you value things guys and some people don't value sneakers like that so everybody in the comments section saying this guy's a bad dad or whatever you're wrong and the people in the comments section of people who buy their kids expensive sneakers saying they're deadbeats you're also wrong at the end of the day it's all about the lessons like i said the lessons that you give to a child that they can keep forever it's the non-tangible that really sets you apart from the crowd as far as fatherhood and parenting goes you know what i'm saying and at least this dad's there honestly you know what i'm saying because he could have went on a fetch quest for some milk and disappeared never to be seen again all right guys so this is just my two cents on the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Would you buy your kid expensive sneakers? Or are you only going to get them things on clearance? And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.